In this video, I'll show you how to master color grading in Affinity Photo. Let's get started. If you'd like to follow along with me, I've left a download link to the photo that I'll be using in the video description. In Affinity Photo, mastering color grading is so easy. There's a simple adjustment that you can use called the gradient map adjustment. So let's start by applying the gradient map adjustment. At first, this adjustment looks a little wild, but we can simplify this to make it easier to understand. First, select the green color stop right here, and then press delete. Then go down here to where it says reverse and click on that. I think it makes it a little easier to see what's going on when we just have these two colors. So the gradient map adjustment applies a color to your shadows and to your highlights in your photo. In this case, I'm just going to turn off this layer so that you can see where these colors are being applied. So the dark areas in this photo, like these dark shadows back here, have been turned this blue color while the light areas in the photo, like her white shirt, have been turned red. And anything in between dark and light gets a combination of these colors. You can see in the dialog box, there's a gradient from blue to red, with the middle area turning a sort of purple color. So you'll see that throughout this photo too. So we can actually change these colors to whatever we want. So let's start with a simple example. A very common color combination is blue shadows and orange highlights. So let's do that. Just click on a color stop to select it. Then go down here to where it says color. Now we can adjust this color however we want. I'm just going to make this one darker. I'll click outside of this color box here. And then I'll select the other color stop. And I'll do the same thing, clicking on color and adjusting this to whatever we want. This color combination looks really cinematic and nice, but for this picture, I still want to see some of the original colors. So we can use blend modes to make this a more blended, subtle effect. Just go down here to blend modes. And my favorite blend mode for this is called Soft Light. And just like that, we've created beautiful color grading on this image. Here's the before and the after. And if you want, you can lower the opacity if you want to make this a little less intense. I think this looks really good. So that's just one color combination you could do. Let's do one other example. I'll turn off this layer, and then I'll apply another gradient map adjustment. Once again, I'm going to simplify this by deleting this middle point and reversing the colors. Even if it's not necessary, I like to simplify this adjustment each time so that it's easier to see what's going on in our picture. So this time, I'm going to use the gradient map adjustment to create a black and white effect. So for the shadows, I'm going to change their color to black. And for the highlights, I'm going to change the color to white. At this point, this is just a black and white photo but we can add a tint of color to the photo by adding a midpoint again. To do that, just double click on this line. And now with this selected, we can change the color of it to add a tint. So I'm just going to add an orange color. And you can see this gives us a sort of sepia look, which I think looks so nice. To customize this even more, you can actually move this midpoint from side to side. If you move it to the left, you can see the picture looks lighter. If you look at our gradient, you can see that more of the picture becomes white, 
so that's why it's lighter. If I move it to the right, you can see more of the gradient becomes dark, and the picture does too. So you can play around with this midpoint until you like the look of it for your photo. These are just a few ways to add beautiful color grading to your photos. Feel free to play around with this adjustment, adding different colors and using different blend modes. It's a lot of fun to play around with. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next Affinity Revolution tutorial.